Welcome back to another Madden NFL 25 video in which today we have a NFC East divisional matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one. Let's get it. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles offense will get the ball to start off the game. So let's go take a look at his stats from last year as he went 352 out of 538 attempts, 3858 yards, 23 touchdowns to 15 interceptions. Here on third and eight, Jalen Hurts has a nice clean pocket and lots of time as he completes it over the middle for the first down at the 38 yard line. The pass is caught and completed to Dallas Goddard on the play. Let's take a look at the replay right there as Hertz was well protected and Goddard created separation from the defense. Here on second and three, Jalen Hurts steps back in the pocket and quickly fires it towards the right side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to his tight end number 81 Calcaterra who gets the first down at the Washington Commanders 36 yard line. Here on second and three, Jalen Hurts has a nice clean pocket as he works the right side of the field. It is a one-handed catch by number six on the play as they are inside the red zone at the 16-yard line. And that was Devonte Smith with that highlight-worthy catch on the play. Here on first and ten, Jalen Hurts steps back in the pocket, has lots of time and decides to keep it himself as he is going to rush and get into the end zone as the Eagles are going to score the first points of the game, taking a 7-0 lead over the Commanders. Let's take a look at the replay right there as the pocket was looking to collapse. Hurts does a great job to recognize it and take it himself for the touchdown. It is now time for Jaden Daniels and the Commanders offense to take to the field for the first time today. So let's go take a look at his stats for this year as he is a 75 overall, has 90 speed and 71 awareness. Here on first and 10, Daniels is under center and hands it off to the running back who takes it up the middle and gets the first down, taking it into Eagles territory at the 45 yard line. That is Brian Thomas Jr. with the run on the play as the first quarter comes to a close. The Eagles lead 7-0. Here on second and 10, Jaden Daniels has a nice clean pocket, but is sacked as it quickly collapses. That is white with the sack as it'll be third and 17 at their 47-yard line. Here on fourth and seven, the commanders are ready to punt, but it will be a roughing the kicker and the commanders will continue on their drive as it is on the Eagles. What a costly mistake as here on third and six, Jaden Daniels decides to scramble himself and find some space on the left side of the field as he takes it inside the five down to the three yard line. Great run by Jaden Daniels on the play as we take a look at the replay right here look to be blocked but it opens up the space for him to run as he does a great job to avoid the sack on the play here on first and goal Jaden Daniels has a play action pass and fires it to the end zone as the pass is caught and completed to number 82 Ben Sinnott for the tying touchdown at seven apiece here on third and 14 Hertz has a Read option and hands it off to Saquon Barkley who finds space on the right side of the field and gets the first down into Commander's territory at the 49 yard line. And let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the play unfolded as he gets to the edge as the defenders take the bad angle and allow Saquon Barkley to get that first down. Here on second and 10 Jalen Hurts. Has time in the pocket, quickly fires it towards the right side as he takes the top off the defense. The pass is caught and completed for a touchdown to Devontae Smith as the Eagles are going to take a 14-7 lead with a couple seconds remaining here in the first half. And take a look at the replay right there as Hertz instantly recognizes it and quickly gets the ball off to Smith for the touchdown. The Commanders get the ball to start off the second half and here on a read option on first and 10, Daniels keeps it himself and gets the first down at the 42-yard line. 
here on first and 10. Daniels is under center and has a play action pass as he completes the pass towards the right side of the field for the first down at the 37 yard line. That is number two with the reception on the play. And let's take a look at the replay right there to see how the play unfolded as it is a great route and a great throw and timing by Jaden Daniels to get the first down. Here on 2nd and 4, Jaden Daniels quickly fires it towards the left side as the pass is caught and completed to Terry McLaurin as he breaks a couple tackles and outruns the entire Eagles defense for the touchdown. We are going to be all tied up at 14 apiece here in the 3rd quarter. Let's take a look at the replay right there as Daniels does a great job to get it to McLaurin and he does a great job to break a couple tackles and use speed to get into the end zone. Here on 3rd and 11, Jalen Hurts has a nice clean pocket as he airs one out over the top. The pass is caught and completed and will be taken to the house. And it is just that one play that changes the whole dynamic of the play as Jahan Dotson against his former team gives the Eagles a 21-14 lead over the Commanders. And Hurts instantly recognizes it and places it perfectly in stride to allow Dotson to get to the house. Here on third and inches, Jaden Daniels has a nice clean pocket and quickly works it to the left-hand side for the first down, taking it up to the Eagles' 45-yard line. And that is Terry McLaurin with the catch, but he is hobbled and injures after that injury on his ankle. Here on 2nd and 4, Jaden Daniels has a option as he hands it off to Austin Eckler who breaks a couple tackles and fights his way forward for the first down at the 23 yard line. Let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the play unfolded as he does a great job to get past the sea of Eagles and fight his way forward for that hard first down. Here on 1st and 10, Jaden Daniels has a nice clean pocket and tries to force it over the middle, but is going to be picked off by number 53 on the Eagles defense. That is Zach Vaughn that comes up with the pick as he celebrates with his teammates in the end zone after that turnover. Let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the play unfolded. And it looked to me that Jaden Daniels just didn't quite place the ball where he wanted to and throws it straight to the defender. That's a pass that he will love to have back. Here on first and 10, Jalen Hurts quickly fires it over the middle as the pass is caught and completed for the first down at the 42 yard line as we are going to hit the two minute warning. The Commanders get the stop on defense and here on 2nd and 10, Jaden Daniels works the right sideline as the pass is caught and completed to McCaffrey for the first down at the 20 yard line. Here on 3rd and 10, Jaden Daniels is in the pocket as he steps back and runs straight into the pressure that is number 0 that comes up with the sack and pushes the Commanders back to their own 9 and makes it 4th and 21 for the commanders and take a look at the replay right there as Daniels didn't see the defender and runs straight into the pressure on the play and it looks to be that the commanders are going to go no huddle and are quickly going to get rid of the ball and Daniels checks it down way short of the line to gain and it'll be a turnover on downs for the commanders and is looking to be a Eagles victory. Jalen Hurts will now take his team into victory formation as they will let the clock run down to triple zeros as the Philadelphia Eagles are going to defeat the Washington Commanders 21-14. to Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of the NFL and college football, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.